what's up y'all welcome back so let's watch this video of chris falling in love with a beautiful girl hopefully this time she doesn't look like lois i don't know if y'all remember that one but um yeah apparently he fell in love or his girlfriend one of his girlfriends looked like lois and that was kind of creepy but um we're gonna get into this one so let's get it we now return to sesame street now on hbo Cookie Monster eating them cookies. Honestly, Mom, today was kind of weird. Every kid in school had to write a list of five reasons Principal Shepard is cool. All right, finally, some peace and quiet so I can buckle down and get some writing done. Hey, Bonnie. What? Listen to this. Say it's all been a pack of lies. What? Why? Just do what? it. Call the cops. Because he was busy writing the song. Wait, if he just watched, <laughs> doesn't that also make him a little guilty? Look, I'm not saying we wouldn't bring Phil Collins in for questioning. I feel like maybe this story is bogus. Now, hang on, let me check. She sounds drunk. Yeah, none of that happened. <sighs> hey, what's up? Well, I'm trying to work on a... Hey, guys. You all want to say the oath again? Oh. For the watch. Oh. For the watch. Oh. For the watch. Oh. Hi, Brian. Oh. I'm the boring storyline of the fat guy that's watching that girl. And I'm ballers. Does anyone know how to push down the back seat of a Highlander? I know I can make a bed in there, I just don't know how. Oh my god, Principal Shepard, what's wrong? I just listened to two hours of butt-dialed sex between my wife and the ADT alarm guy. Why didn't you just hang oh. up? <laughs> because I missed the sound of her voice. Damn, <laughs> you down bad. It's not that serious. Welcome <laughs> to our school community. Let's call to order this emergency meeting of the school board regarding Principal Shepard's meltdown. I know a number of our students have felt traumatized by the events of this week. And we take those concerns very seriously. Well, I'm done with my gum. Oh, how embarrassing! Yeah, no offense, Peter, but I don't know if you should be running a school. What are you talking about? I'm a natural leader. That's why I'm so good at leading Simon Says. Simon Says, leave the band. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> well, you know what? You guys are wrong, and I'm gonna prove it to you. Again, any volunteers? I'll be your new pr- Doesn't need it anymore now that he's a high school principal. Oh my god, he's not really doing that, is he? I'm only gonna get bullied worse now. Hello, breakfast club. <laughs> As a principal, I like to start each morning with a reference from last century. Dad, I don't want to- <laughs> Too late. I've already been practicing giving students awkward and uncoordinated high fives. Chris, if I may? This couple to check out after only an hour. <laughs> Hi, we'd like a room, please. Wait, I'm sorry. Weren't you just here a moment ago with a different man? Oh, crap. Stewie, we have a problem. The only people checking in are here to have sex with prostitutes. What? Nonsense. Well, then why are they all signing the guest book and writing quaint things like railed crystal good? Oh, uh, damn it. This is oh, my goodness. For a principal, <laughs> and making no less sense than it did when it was current. <laughs> You're welcome, person who's probably already dead. But hey, now I got something even more fun. How about we all do an expertly choreographed lip dub to a popular song? Brian, bitches, bitches, Brian. What? What's all this? This, Brian, is called diversification. You see, if our guests insist on bringing Day prostitutes into our B&B, &B, <laughs> we might as well provide <laughs> women, too. What? Stewie, we're not going to become pimps. Are you sure? Oh, I'm my sure. God. The answer is no, so don't bother flashing a wad of money, because there's no way I'm going to change my answer. And what do we got here? Grape juice in a Ziploc bag? I have to make my own Capri Suns. Ah! Hey, stupid. What the hell are you doing? That's my daughter. Yeah? What are you going to do about it? What am I going to do about it? I'll knock your teeth down your throat and out your butt, you little bastard. <laughs> oh, <laughs> juice all over the floor? This is going to make people sneakers sticky and then... Wow, Dad, that was... Wow. Miss Milliken's just a friend. Oh, I don't mean that. I mean the way you handled those guys that were picking on me. Really? I felt like I kind of lost my cool there. Not at all. That's what you've got to do more of. You were like a real principal there. I thought I was. he was playing. Yeah. In fact, if you're going to leave this school, <laughs> you've got to know serious? that kids need discipline. Especially... <laughs> <laughs> 
Why is he spinning on bats? Ooh. And we came up with a list of 11 <laughs> students and two teachers that you need to do something about. Maybe you should start with Mark Rutledge. Why? What'd he do? He wouldn't kiss Ruth at the Sadie Hawkins dance, even though she bought him dinner before at Walt's roast beef. Well, I don't see how that's got anything to do and with... And he called you fat. Oh, I'm gonna... <laughs> that's right. Don't take any crap from anyone. Oh, I won't. I'm gonna... As gently as I can, but it appears that someone's rectum fell out on the stairs. Now, whose is it? Be honest. Look at that first one. All right, that's fine. But let's just agree on a rule that if your rectum falls out on the stairs, it's on you to pick it up. Look at that, Brian. Our day is Look just at all the men lined the up. Door. I know, we're raking it in. This is a hell of a lot easier than when I delivered pizza. So I think Lee Blanding gets detention. And for Jason O'Neill, maybe you can paint some dirt in the subway. Yes, good. I like that. <laughs> oh, hi, you two. What are you working on? Oh, nothing. I, um... I'm just helping Dad with his schedule for tomorrow. You know, he's really doing a great job. He's actually made the school a lot better. Huh. Peter, there you go. Yeah, we going to the club tonight? Not you. Okay. <laughs> hey, Brian, what's a splat job? I, I, don't, I don't know, Stewie. I'm, I'm worried that you're seeing too much. Good morning, ladies. Were the paramedics able to resuscitate Lamar Odom? They're still working on it. <laughs> oh, the shade. What is that? <sighs> Let's just go. <laughs> they won. Oh, we'll see about that. Hello, I'd like to report a brothel operating on Route 6 near Round Hill Road. Thank you. You want to eat mangled raisin? I, I genuinely did not know you could do that. Well, you can. <laughs> Anything you order, if you don't sign for it, it has to go back. Everyone does it. Most of what America is now is just boxes going back and forth. Students, this is a chair without a seat. Jeff Bannon? No, you're fired. We've reinstated Principal Shepard. Wait, he's back? But he had that crazy meltdown about his divorce. Yes, but then I went on a sex trip to Thailand and I banged all the goofy right out of me. Wait, Dad's fired? Who did this? Who turned him in? I did. Hi, Mrs. Griffin. Hi. Hi, Patty. Come on, Meg. Let's go home. And next really? time I want to get back at your bullies, I'll do it the old-fashioned way. As a grown man beating up teenagers in a parking lot. <laughs> I'm planning on dying tonight. What are your plans? Was that like a scare tactic? What was that? <sighs> the water park. Oh God, Peter never makes Lois. sense. Everybody meet back here in six hours. I can't wait to get everyone else's body water in my mouth. Ew, I never thought of it that way. That's nasty. You know, uh, pee. You know, people slide. be peeing hey, in the pool and stuff. Coming way too fast. Ew, Brian, what happened? I don't know. Hey, idiot, you gotta wait till the guy says go. Excuse me, do you mm -hmm. think you can help me out? Sure, just let me do an awkward, extremely on a... <laughs> My word, Chris, that girl was totally into you. You should ask her out. Really? But what if she says no? Hey, if you want something, you, you gotta know go if you don't try. Just like the fat man did when he changed his name. I'm looking for a Peter Ferrari... Obviously, that's me. Yes. There's what the hell? <laughs> oh, oh, I think I feel something. Please, please don't do that. Hey, your aunt is Consuela? Hi, Consuela. You two know each other? Oh, yeah, Lemon Pledge. No, no, all that stuff. It's time to go, Lemon Pledge. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, Isabella, I don't care that you have kids. Well, I'd still like to go out with you. Oh, I love that Aww, movie. Oh, he's trying to Chris, be a step daddy. I'm having a really nice time with you. You are? Uh, listen, this is probably lame, but I learned a little bit of your language, and I just wanted to say... What language is that? She's talking about her kids, Chris. Oh, 
I don't care about that, Mom. I just want to make sure you're not getting in over your head. Well, I'm sure someone's already been in there deeper than that, Lois. <laughs> Brian! Oh, hello, Isabella. Uh... Hi, Mrs. Griffin. Mr. Griffin. Mr. Griffin's up here, sweetheart. Isabella! <laughs> what? <laughs> Is everything okay? Chris, I just wanted to say goodbye. What? What do you mean? I found out that I'm going to be deported. They're sending me back to Mexico in the morning. So, in other words, this could have waited till the morning? I didn't want to leave without saying goodbye. But they can't send you away. There's got to be something we can do. But I hate having to. The whole reason I left Mexico was to give them a better life. Well, I could take them until you get back. I mean, I'm no expert at this sort of thing, but... Hey, yeah. Wow, you're getting better What does that have to do with taking care of kids? I can't take care of my children. Isabella, I want to do this. Grace. Wow, he's uh, simping hard. Dad, the paper upside down? <laughs> yeah. Wrong again, idiot. Chris, what are you doing with Isabella's babies? And why are you holding them that way? You'll hurt them. Where's Isabella? She got deported this morning. Deported? And she just left her babies with you? Well, just until she can come back. Chris, are you... Chris will resent you for the rest of his life. Then what do you suggest we do? I say you let him try. Trust me, one day of watching those kids and he'll want them out of here. <sighs> All right, fine. Uh -huh. Yes, taking care of kids is a 24-hour job. Like when I worked at that all-night diner from that painting. They kicked me out of the war for kissing a guy. <laughs> oh, my God. Baby thing to get. Oh, I love Whole Foods. Baby Einstein, Muppet Babies. Uh, what's CSI Babies? <laughs> what's this? They can't solve this crime. They're just frightened babies. They don't even know it's a crime. They just know their parents aren't there. They're scared. Now I'm scared. Turn this off. <laughs> ah, that's not what I want. Ah, I'm going to go hide in my couch fort. Pick them. <laughs> When I was never here. Wow, she's like the Mexican David Blaine. Wait, is David Blaine Mexican? He's hey, something. Peter, forget that. What are we gonna do? Chris can't just be stuck with these babies. Why not? I'm doing a great job. I love Isabella. Audience? Why? How? Stop that! <laughs> I will not allow you to drop out of school. If Isabella can't get here to take her kids back, we'll just have to bring them to her. What? What do you mean? She really left her kids with him. So we can give these kids back to their mother. Peter, okay. back me up here. Well, no one's better at smuggling than El Chapo. Maybe he can help us. How are you going to get El Chapo to help? It's easy. All you got to do is say dyed black eyebrows into the wind and he appears. Dyed black eyebrows. Can I help you? Peter Gallagher. Maybe I can help. Mark Cuban? Oh, we're getting all the wrong eyebrow guys. Peter, <laughs> it's time for lunch. Sorry, Hell no. can't leave the eggs till Quagmire gets back. We're having sloppy joes. Well, Ooh. I guess I haven't seen that mongoose in a while. We're having sloppy joes. Yeah, I heard. Please say you got the onion bun. We're having sloppy joes. <laughs> Is this about the raffle for the free lunch? Does oh, my goodness. Week because I... Wait a second. Are we being arrested? We've done nothing wrong. We're not arresting you. We're taking your plane. And Javier, get their keys and take their SUV. Parabo? Parabo? Say it with me. Par Parabo. Is that right? It's weird, but you remember. You know, I guess, I guess that's the point. Do you think she's set for life? Peter, we're about to die! <laughs> no, my babies! Get out of here! You leave them alone! <laughs> he is a good boy. <laughs> oh, this is awful. Chris is injured and we're completely out of food and water. I know. I'm so thirsty I'd be willing to drink it. Wait, where did he come from? Not not yours, Chris or Peter, but you know, you know anyone. Mom, Dad, the problem, right? I mean, politics aside, we can all agree that is a problem. Thanks for the ride, Maybe Consuela. I wasn't paying attention. And thanks for taking us on that little detour. Where did Quagmire come from? Was I right? <laughs> or was I right? Yep, totally worth the extra two days. Look, Chris, I owe you an apology. I did I love you too, sweetheart.
Isabella, being with you has been really great. But I think I realized my mom was right. I'm too young to be taking on this much responsibility. I understand. But I know someday you will make an incredible father. Oh, wow. So he really took... he. You know what? I shouldn't rename this. Chris simps really hard for a strange woman that he doesn't even know. But yeah, guys, that's going to do it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next reaction video. Bye.